Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is your daily tarot for Monday, the 22nd of October 2018. I uh, hope you're well wherever you are. Oh, and that you had a lovely, lovely weekend. Right, I'm just going to give these one more shuffle. Good, and one more cut. Right, let's see what we get for Monday the 22nd of October. The Chariot, that's what came up over the weekend. The Hanged Man. Fall in reverse, okay. I would say straight away, don't expect too much to come of your efforts. Um, however much you might want to forge ahead, uh, there's a holding pattern in place and um, I think we best just give in to it. Ooh, which way are we going? Sorry, not central. And I would say this holding pattern um, represented here by the hangman uh, is there for a reason um, but it's going to feel like a, a drain and a block but it's there for a reason because there's something in the progress we are striving for here in a very single-minded way in the chariot uh, that we haven't seen yet there's some um, angle that we haven't worked out yet. And um, the key to power here is fall in the reverse. So not striking out uh, onto, uh, onto the road, <coughs> excuse me, into fresh territory. <laughs> Um, this hangman is there for a reason and um, I think this is more going to be um, perceived as a block or a drain. The middle card in this three card spread is the veil, the block, the drain, the obscuring force, the hindering force. Um, but when I put that, I mean, if this was the other way up, if this fall was in the upright, it would be another matter. It would be like, look, just smash through. But because it's in the, it's in the reverse, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the opposite. However tempting it might be to smash through something in your chariot, um, there is something about the situation you want to smash through that you haven't seen yet. Right, let's get on to... Uh, some clarifiers. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Ten of Cups in the reverse, clarifying the chariot in the upright in this spread. Um, this desire to get this sorted out, whatever it is, is very, very strong. And it's hitting us in hearth and home very very difficult um this might be a family matter or a close relationship matter and it really really feels like this matter matters and um you know happen it does but there's caution being urged here in terms of um yeah just just breaking on through the barriers you know getting in your chariot whipping up the horses and just just breaking on through to the other side. I can see, though, that the wish to do that is very, very strong because there's something here um, in the Ten of Cups in reverse that, that is really, really creating some, uh, I would say, domestic um, unhappiness. Right, let's clarify the hanged man. Oh, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. 
oh god it's just gonna it's just gonna feel like there's something so ready to be picked off the branch so ready and all you have to do is reach out and take it but it's not time it's not time let me clarify this okay Right, listen, I'm sorry, what this is saying is that, oh my gosh, acting on chariot energy without making sure that you have all the pentacle pumpkins safely stored, safely harvested, that there's something about this situation, whatever it is, that has not come to fruition yet. And um, <sighs> key to power here, fall in reverse, clarified by the nine of cups in reverse. You're just going to have to wait. You're just going to have to wait. And it's going to be uncomfortable. And it's going to feel like you're stepping backwards. Now, let me think. Yeah, it's down near halfway through Venus retrograde. I mean, it's the 22nd. Venus retrograde, uh, very difficult to say that um, <laughs> for some reason. Venus retrograde commenced on about the 5th. And is running through, yeah, it's about 40 days. So we're just under 20 days in. I wouldn't be at all surprised if something pops on this matter on the 24th, which is the full moon in Taurus. Uh, whatever this is might be ready to pick by then, but not quite yet. I'm just going to take a little pull from my uh, wonderful little E jobby. I call it my toot stick. Right. Let's see what Kuan Yin has to say. Again. Yeah, it was. I thought it was one right at the beginning. It is that one. Oh, I think it's right near the end, actually. <clears throat> yeah. We get white mantra mother protects. This is protection from poisons. Unripe fruit, the seven of pentacles in the reverse, can poison us. But I think it feels at the moment like there's poison in these cups. However, white mantra mother, white Tara, um, from the uh, Tibetan Buddhist end of the Kuan Yin tradition, um, is also... Um, the bringer of long life. This is waiting, waiting. Uh, whatever this is, is coming to a head. And as I say, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it didn't pop um, around the 24th, whatever it is. But there's clearly a wish to um, get something sorted out. But... Uh, Huh, yeah, it's that old thing about if you march onto the stage and sort of say your piece, um, that is going to um, set in motion certain karmic results. If you stay in the wings and leave the space empty, that also, well, leave it empty of yourself, that also sets off some karmic implications. 
Um, but when you leave the stage empty of yourself, you leave the space available um, for others to come on and say their piece. And the presence here of the Ten of Cups in the reverse tells me that this is a situation that is not um, merely about yourself. Uh, it, very few <laughs> problems and difficulties and uncomfortable situations are merely about the self. Very little in life is solely about the self. There's something to be waited for here. Um, stay off the stage and um, protect yourself from the poisons in these unripe fruits. Uh, I don't think there is poison in these cups, but I think it might feel like that. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, but these unripe fruits, if picked off the tree now, and it might well upset your tummy. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, all the information you need is in the description box below. Cheers, bye-bye.